There. Is that good? Right. Right there. What is going on, everybody? Today is going to be the start of something that I'm actually doing this entire week. I'm doing a, a series just for this week, this Monday video, Wednesday video, and Friday video on only Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's kind of like a Ghost Recon Wildlands theory-ish week. I made a No Man's Sky theory week about six months ago, and that did very well, and I thought that, hey, I'm interested in this game as well, so why don't I do that with this game as well? So all the videos this week are going to be Ghost Recon Wildlands related, so if you're into that stuff, hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys stick around, and uh, yeah, apparently YouTube is broken, so why not just, why not hit that like button too? Let's get this thing to, I don't I've never asked for likes before, just hit the like button. <laughs> I'm challenging you guys right now. Can we please get 500,000 likes on this video? If I shout louder and beg for likes harder, YouTube will be sure to promote my video. So on the topic today with Ghost Recon Wildlands, this is something that uh, isn't really spoken on a lot and I don't understand why. So if you aren't aware, Ghost Recon Wildlands is a story-driven game. There is a lot of talk on uh, mechanics, vehicles, weapons, characters, uh, mission types, and when, when everybody gets flooded with that information, they're not really on topic with, is this game just a mission type game, or is there a storyline to this? So pretty much most games nowadays have storylines, even if they're weak, even if they're subpar to the actual combat or something like that. Everything has some sort of storyline, usually. But from what a lot of the creators are saying, and what a lot of people that are really interested in this game are saying is this game has a really in-depth storyline. You're a military group that is out to destroy this drug cartel in this humongous vast map. We're actually going to be talking about maps a little bit later in the week, so stay tuned for that. But this is a huge game, and and there's so much stuff that you can do in this game that, like I said, people forget that this is a story-driven game. So because of that, do your actions have consequences? Now, there are games that are really into your actions have consequences, there are games that have none of it, and then there are some games that will implement a little bit in it just to give a little bit more in depth and a little bit more of a lore to the game. Now, what the developers have said, early in the demo, there's actually footage of a little village that Santa Blanca, the, the drug cartel, have just massacred. Now, a lot of people look this over and they say, you know what, it's something that just happened in the game, it's part of the story. The Santa Blanca cartel just had to massacre this just for part of the story. But the developers actually said, this is a direct action that happened just simply because of a previous mission. So something happened in a previous mission that made the drug cartel go and massacre this little village. Again, that being said, this is more than a sandbox game. This is a sandbox game that has a really, really awesome storyline to it. And that storyline has consequences to your actions. Every single day that I research Ghost Recon Wildlands, I get more and more interested in what this is. It's insane the amount of detail that they're putting into this game. So in short, yes, your actions do have consequences in this game, which is so amazing to say. If you're somebody that is into that storyline, if you're somebody that is into a game for its story, or its lore rather than the gameplay, then this is a game for you. If you're into military combat, this game is for you. If you're into stealthy combat, this game is for you. If you're into online play, this game is for you. There are so many different angles that this game is coming at us with, and I just can't wait to talk more about this game. So I hope that you guys liked the video today. Leave a like, leave a subscription. It really helps me out, guys. So, so again, stick around if you guys want to see more Ghost Recon Wildlands content this week. This whole week is going to be based around Ghost Recon Wildlands, so I hope that you guys have an awesome day. I will see you guys later.